Hey, you're crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry.
This doesn't look like it was ever opened. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. But no matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. I like vexing your brain because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me. Which of course they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was purdy. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back and give it some water and already it looks to be on the mend. She is 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Herford's thinking to marry her, but I said she ain't of that mind yet. March 30th, 1883. Frances has got eyes for a young man named Dirk. She says he's from Prescott. Cappy says when she plays a piano, this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good. I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now. I told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says you won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. 
April 16th, 1883. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who was wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. The picture with the letter looked just like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone, and she won't say nothing about where he went. August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. But that ain't true, because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money, meant to pay miners a hard-earned wages. He is nothing but a no-good, greedy outlaw. But Francis gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him when she hides from me. September 9th, 1883. I got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw where they was going to meet. So I got a posse, and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Frances won't say nothing to me no more, and says she never will again. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sent a secret letter to Frances, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Frances ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course, and if she never sees his letter, maybe she will think... He don't like her no more, and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Frances's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would be glad, but I ain't. September 18th, 1883. Frances took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget, Dirk, and when she does, she will come home because she's a smart gal and, and will figure out that I, I did what I'd done for her. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. I hope this ain't the truth, because I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world. It's just a pile of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look after delicate things like that. So it is my fault that it died. I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. I will just have to find a way to live with it. goes here. Something goes here. Just call me Nancy Paul Bunyan Drew. Wonder who wrote this?
So far, so good. That should do it. There, one extremely well-built campfire, if I do say so myself. Great looking fire, Nancy. Nice job. No! There's a hole in it. There. Am I good or what? Voila! Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? The letter made it sound like Dirk was sending Francis on some kind of treasure hunt. Well, if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. How long have you worked here? About as long as the Raleigh's have lived here. About three months, I guess. I was their first hire. First me, then Tex, then Shorty. That Shorty sure likes to talk, doesn't he? He does his job and he does it good. Far as I'm concerned, that's all that's important. I'll let you get back to work. Take care. Ow! 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 Yikes! Maybe I'll come back when she's not in such a foul mood. I'm finished with that. Check. That's done. That's done. That's... Check. I'm finished with that. That's done. That's done. I'm finished with that. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah, how's that doing? You heard what happened to him? Of course, I'm the sheriff. I hear everything. You gonna pull through? It looks that way, yes. They're going to keep him in the hospital for a day or two just to be sure. Good, that's good. Only met him a couple of times, but I liked him. He and his wife, what's her name? Bet, short for Elizabeth. They seem real determined to make a go of that place. I like that. So, what can I do for you? Did you hear about the phantom horse that showed up at Shadow Ranch last night? Did you say phantom horse? Just before Ed was bitten by that snake, 
This glowing horse came galloping up outside, then went galloping away. Glowing horse? Sounds to me like somebody's playing a joke. Friend of Shorty's, I'll bet, trying to get a rise out of him, and probably succeeding knowing Shorty. Do you know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I know them all. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with them, but it's a pretty small world out here, and I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. Thanks for your help. My pleasure.
Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Anything I can do for you now? Do you think I could get a canteen of water from you? Got one right here. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. I'm finished with that. Need something? Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine supposedly hid for his sweetheart? Nope. Ah, somehow I knew you were going to say that. May I go writing now? Yep. If you got everything I told you you need, and you think you know your stuff when it comes to horses, old Bob's all yours. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Come on, Bob. <laughs> I'm ready. Ready for some questions? You bet. Where's the horse's hocks? Just below its knees. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's frog? On the bottom of its hoof. That's one out of ten. Ask me something else. How tall is a horse that's 15 hands? Five feet. Two out of ten. Got a long way to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A paint horse. Nope. Ask me something else. How can you tell if a horse is colican? It keeps lying down, then standing up. Three down, seven to go. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay is light brown. Nope. Ask me something else. What tribe bred the first Appaloosas? The Nez Pierce. That's four right. Ask me something else. What part of a horse is most likely to be hurt when it founders? It's feet. That's five. You're halfway there. Ask me something else. What part of the saddle should you always check before you head out on the trail? The cinch. Bingo. That was number six. Ask me something else. What is a mule? The offspring of a female horse and a male donkey. Seven down. You're in the home stretch. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? Just above its hooves. Nope. Ask me something else. Where's the horse's hocks? On its back legs. Eight right. Just two to go. Ask me something else. What kind of a horse is a Paso Fino? A gated horse. This here's your final question. I'm ready. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut is light brown. Nope. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A chestnut has black points. Nope. Ask me something else. What's the difference between a bay and a chestnut? A bay has black points. Well, you answered all the questions right. And I can tell by the way you sit, you ain't gonna go falling off for no good reason. So you're free to ride outside the corral. Just don't go galloping all over the place. Because if you bring old Bob back all hot and sweaty, 
You can kiss your cowgirl days at Shadow Ranch goodbye. Okay, Bob, what do you say we do some sightseeing? Done. That trunk looks really old. Forks. Cool.
Token or something. What a beautiful horse. Hi, can I help you? Hi, are you Mary Yazzie? That's me. I didn't hear a car. Did you hike in or come by horse? Bob brought me. He's a horse. My name's Nancy. So where are you staying? Shadow Ranch. I heard what happened last night. Tough break for the Raleighs. Getting that place going has been a real struggle for them. How did you hear about it? Word gets around. Here, I have something for you. Bet wanted me to give you this. Great. I want to buy a small piece of property from them. It must be their response. Bad news? They rejected my offer. Well, I guess that's that. But as long as you're here, look around. All the jewelry you see, all the rugs, the beadwork, the pottery, they were all made by local artists, including yours truly. So if you want to know something, especially if you want to know how much something is, just ask. Is that you riding that beautiful Palomino in the picture over there? That's my horse, Banner. I train him myself. What else can he do? Anything I ask. He and I are both pretty talented. Is that old trunk over there the one you bought from the Raleighs? Yeah, they didn't want much for it, so I took it off their hands. Problem is, I still don't know what's in it because I can't figure out how to open it. Have you asked the Raleighs about it? They were no help, although they did offer to buy it back from me. I just told them to keep looking for a way to get it open. Are there many petroglyphs around here? If you take the trail to Cougar Bend, there are hundreds. A lot of them were probably made by the Anasazi. They lived in the area until about 700 years ago, when they just suddenly picked up and left. I won something that looks like a token when I played that game over there. What is it? They actually used those for something back in the 1880s, but I don't know what. It was great talking to you. Ride safely. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Purcell's office. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? Concerning? I'm staying at a ranch in central Arizona, and since she knows so much about the history of Arizona, I thought maybe she could answer some questions for me. Questions concerning? Well, I came across a very old trunk that might contain stuff that has to do with these people named Dirk Valentine and Francis Humber, only I can't open it. Did you say Dirk Valentine? And his girlfriend, Frances Humber, yes. Huh. What would you hold, please? 
Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novel, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels, it recently received the Catherine Coop Award for Historical Excellence. Reading a Charlena Purcell novel is like traveling through time to the Old Southwest on the wings of love. This is Charlena. Who is this again? Uh, Nancy Drew. Tell me about the trunk you found. Well... The lock seems to have something to do with this image that's engraved on the trunk right above it. Describe the image. It's this kind of abstract design made up of hearts and doves and the initials E-H and A-H. E-H would be Eldridge Humber and A-H would be Abigail Humber. Frances Humber's grandparents on her father's side. Her mother died when she was ten. Now, the picture no doubt commemorates their wedding day, which was... 4-9-11. April 9th, 1811. Those numbers must have something to do with the directions in which those wrenches need to be pointing. I'm afraid I wouldn't know. In the course of my research, I've only read about the trunks Merrill and Eldridge Humber handcrafted. I've never actually opened one. However, I've been running across fascinating tidbits concerning the Humber family and stashing them away for years. When I have enough tidbits stashed away, I may well write a book about them. Then you'd probably be very interested to know what's in this trunk. Yes, I would. And since I've helped you, or tried to, it's only fair that you help me, don't you think? Sure. I'll keep you posted. Did I mention that I'm staying at Shadow Ranch? This just gets better and better. I'll tell my assistant to put your calls through immediately. By the way, why are you so interested in the Humbers? Knowing more about them and what happened in the past may help me figure out something that's going on in the present. I'm kind of a detective. That makes two of us. I'll be waiting to hear from you. I got the trunk open! Great, thank you. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. I wonder how you open this. Bingo! Green bottle under... Hmm, wonder what that means. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Ride safely.
Better not leave old Bob behind.